I'm joined here by Guillaume and we're going to cover the new IT slash IP based platform that we we're showing here, here at IBC. So tell us behind the concept behind this, behind this platform then. Well, the concept is from R&D point of view that um, we want to bring something very strong using software and something as strong as a hardware based product but with the flexibility, of course, yeah. on top. I would say that this was the biggest challenge uh, in terms of R&D. How to be as reliable as a hardware-based platform and to bring also the same kind of latency that you can expect uh, from a hardware-based platform is very small latency. And to do that in a software environment was just a big headache, I would say. Very big challenge to overcome. So we worked very hard in this direction. This was really the mindset. Fully reliable and almost zero latency, okay? So the same kind of performance and the same experience that customers have with hardware products, we want them to have it now with IT-based software products. So how was the R&D different between this platform and a hardware-based solution? Well, uh, from R&D standpoint, it was quite different. And the thinking actually was quite different because with a hardware-centric product in mind, you aim for one application, one dedicated application with one, let's say, specific product. With this concept of software-based uh, engine and platform, right from the start, you have not to think in terms of a product or a box or an application, but you have to think about something that is open enough so that you can target many markets, many customers, and that you can make the product um, able to evolve over time. So from R&D standpoint, it's actually much more difficult uh, right. to, 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 to start thinking this way. And this was also one of the big challenges to, to overcome, to make something, one specific thing that you can make many things out. Okay, and one of the, one of the, the key points that you've highlighted is the fact that in terms of its latency, it offers a, a latency of one frame. What, what does this mean for, for our customers? Obviously, it's a, it's a first in the, in the market. Yeah, completely approached in the market and this is one of the key features clearly when it comes to this new platform because the number one headache for most of our customers, especially when it comes to live event coverage, is to lower the latency as much as possible because uh, of course uh, when you have a chain of products, uh, every product has a small latency or sometimes a big one but the problem is that in the end it all adds up to something that can be a big latency and then it becomes a nightmare for these guys. So our customers aim at reducing the latency uh, at every product level, let's say, especially on the video processing kind of products like the switchers or processors and so on, which are applications that of course this platform will provide. So we need to make sure that this very core platform offers super low latency and this is really key for the customers. Okay. And one of the, again, one of the features is that it can, the platform can handle SDI, mm -hmm. IP and NDI simultaneously. Yeah. How's this going to help the move from sort of baseband SDI to mm -hmm. IP workflows? Well, cl clearly, as we can see, there was a lot of uh, new technologies coming and then IP standards emerging and so on. So clearly this transition has started. And so... I would say that it's a perfect timing to release this kind of software-based platform because it's much easier to do the transition to the IP world based on software and IP platforms than it is with hardware, non-flexible kind of products. So yes, this platform was purely designed with this concept in mind, to be able to have all signals in, all signals out. Uh, uh, independently of if it's band, uh, basement uh, signals or yeah. IP. So the most important thing is, yes, you can ingest them and output them, but you can mix them. 
all in a single platform. So you can mix NDI and SDI and, and you can add 2110 on top of that. Right. And you can add in a few years a new standard if it comes up because it's all IP based anyways. Yeah. So extremely important to offer that to our customers so that they don't have to worry about will the product be able to adapt to what is coming uh, after. Uh, yes, it is. Uh, of course, the product is meant to be future-proof. As long as it's IP-based, it's done. Okay. And remote production is, is, is something that we're seeing a lot of our customers wanting to move to mm -hmm. and are now readily using already. How, how is this platform going to help that, that trend further? Yeah, once again, it comes down to IP. Are you able uh, to manage all these IP streams going in and out and so on? Clearly, on this uh, platform, uh, everything can go, obviously, through the network switch. So I would say that wherever uh, the server is, uh, it doesn't matter because the performance is still the same. It's just a question of the bandwidth that you have to bring in and out the signals. So of course the platform is fully ready for IP production. Okay, and when, when are we expected to see the platform scheduled for release? Release is planned for NAV 2020, so we are now in the final stages of development and already running here at IBC, so very stable, yeah. very nice, good of lots, uh, lots of good feedbacks. So, quite happy. Yeah. Brilliant. Look, thanks so much for your time with this, Gillam. And if you've, if you've got any questions, then please do comment on the video below. And thank you for watching.